and welcome to my YouTube channel. For those who I haven't met before, I'm Emma Ryder, Psychic Medium and Divine Channeler, and this is the Leo Weekly Read. Please bear in mind that all of my readings are timeless and you will find the guidance that you need to know when you need to know it, whether that is today, next week, next month, trust in divine timing, as hard as it is sometimes. Trust what re resonates with your heart. Okay, so I'm going to use the Lightseer Tarot deck this week. Um, and then for the extended reading, I'm going to go with Mystic Monday's Tarot and some other oracles. Okay, so Leo, what do you need to know this week? And I feel like it's almost like you're... <coughs> oh, sorry, coughing. You're in this inquisitive, wondering energy. You're like, hmm, is that right? Is that true? Then you're trying to second guess what's happening or how they're feeling. And actually what I want to say, I feel like the cough is quite um, apt. Just ask them. Spit it out. Ask them and then you will know the truth. It's as easy as that. Stop stressing and worrying and trying to figure out stuff when it would be so much easier just to ask. Just ask. And you shall receive the truth. And actually, I do believe that you're going to receive what you're wanting to hear instead of what you're imagining you're going to hear. So, spit it out. Just ask. They're not scary. They're, they're, it's not like they're not going to open, answer you open and honestly ask you'll feel so much better there will be this relief once you've got your information once you've got your answer the first card out is the queen of pentacles and i actually feel like that is the energy of the person you're needing to ask okay because i feel very much like they are quite open, grounded, honest, and they will give you the information freely which you're wanting. It almost feels like they're sat waiting to be asked. They are sat waiting to be asked and... When you receive your answers, you're going to feel that freedom, that relief. Like, why didn't I do that ages ago? Look how happy I am. I feel there's there's definitely a need to ask. How many times am I going to say that in this reading? But, there, but as soon as you ask, you'll feel relief. And as soon as you get your answer, you'll feel even more relief. So it's really important to speak up, ask and... Know that you're going to get the answer that you're wanting. I want to say not the answer you're expecting because I feel like the answer you're expecting is the opposite to what you're actually wanting to hear. And then we have the Ten of Cups card. Because this, this feels like it's asking the person you love, the person that you want to love, or love and want to be with should be better said by asking by speaking up it's moving you closer to that energy that energy of coming together being together and being very content and happy and in the joy energy what i would say to you is if you're worrying about asking and there's that nerves that are talking you out of it, call upon Archangel Michael. Ask Archangel Michael to come in and support you, give you that inner strength, give you that outer calm. He will help you. He will help you find the words. He will help you feel better. 
ask. He's waiting to be asked, okay? And the Ten of Cups energy is where you're where you're heading, what you want to reach. And we have the Two of Cups energy as well, which is where you're you're definitely coming together. And I feel very much like this conversation which needs to be had brings that closeness because it feels like uh, it's almost like the unsaid words are keeping you apart and then we have the three of cups because you are moving both in the same direction together looking forwards okay there's definitely a lot of love between you and it's important to believe in it okay it's important to believe in that love. We then have the Queen of Wands. And it's like that yes energy. That powerful, magical energy. Yes, it's happening. Yes, we're triumphing. Yes, it's all coming together. And then we have the Five of Cups. If you didn't need any more love, okay. What I want to say to you is there's this overthinking energy in this card. I want to say overthinking's a waste of your energy because that love is there for you and you're only bringing your own energy down by overthinking and worrying and wondering instead of asking. There's definitely a question, there's definitely this need to speak up and then we've got the seven of swords and <laughs> look that crow is talking it's all about communication it's all about speaking up instead of avoiding the situation there's definitely don't run don't avoid the situation you need to speak up because then everything's going to come together you will feel that relief and you will be clo it will bring you closer together. I really do believe there's that closeness which is coming with that energy. And that's what you really want. Remember, you're going to get the answer you're wanting, not the answer you're expecting. Because I feel like you're expecting less than what you're going to get. Okay, beautiful people, this is where I'm going to head over to the extended reading. Thank you so very much for joining me. If this is where I leave you, thank you so very much for your support. Please do like and comment on the video if you feel drawn. If you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button. I truly do appreciate each and every single person supporting the channel. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Please do take care, stay safe, and I look forward to seeing you next week. Namaste. Bye.